guys, I'm Gagasita. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Nice to meet you. Welcome to this beauty space where we just talk about makeup and beauty just in a really enthusiastic way. It's not about the new news, it's not about the sales, it's just about the makeup. And today I'm gonna share with you my one and only buy for the Black Friday. The only thing that I bought for my Black Friday was this palette here. This one from Lito and I was I, re, I was really interesting in buying this palette since the beginning of the year but I was like should I should I don't I love purples so this palette here was definitely on my wish list and people were saying that they love the mattes from the this brand even though these mattes aren't the most beautiful and they love they like the shimmers but not everyone loves them everyone likes them but not everyone loves them so it was like should I should I don't so I decided to buy to buy this palette but the only reason that I decided to buy this palette wasn't the price because the price wasn't that nice um, the, the sale wasn't that nice it was because I was really interested on trying these two new palettes from the brand this one is the evergreen eyeshadow palette by uh, Lethal Cosmetics. The color story looks really really nice and it was really easy to me to take this palette because I live in Europe so to me it was really easy to grab it and still it's one of my favorite colors when it comes to makeup and this one has this really deep dark teal and I was dreaming on a deep dark teal single eyeshadow since a long time so since all the little palettes are uh, you know they have this hole here in the back that you can take out of the, the the colors it was really interesting on by this pattern as you know I love a bundle so <laughs> I decided to grab the Mod metamorphosis palette as well and I have to be honest with you I like this color story way much more IRL than in you know on camera so I am glad that I grabbed this one but today's video it's gonna be all about the evergreen eyeshadow palette first of all the packaging the palette come inside this sleeve here that you just uh, you know you just pull out your palette then you have the sleeve and in the back of the sleeve you have the name of the shadows I don't know if you can see this sleeve feels really nice and sturdy and I love the writing I don't know if you can actually see here we go the writing little here in the front it's a really nice palette it's really elegant as packaging and it feels expensive here you have the ingredients list for the eyeshadows and yeah so this is the sleeve and the packaging looks pretty much the same but you have this the the, the little symbol here as you can see it's just a reflection you cannot see and I don't know if you can see but this packaging has some glitters all over it you cannot feel the glitters but you can just see it's just some little specks that doesn't come out when you touch them and the packaging feels amazing in the back of the packaging you have the holes to pull out the shadows and no shadow name in the palette not in the outside and not in the inside you don't have the shadows name in the in the back of the packaging you have this holes here where you can just you know with some I don't know with the something you can just pull out the shadows by by using this uh, holes here I gonna use my old and trusty magnet this is how the palm looks like and you don't have any name in the background in the back so if you don't wanna lose the shadows you will have to write the right name in the back it's a 26 millimeters um, pan which is the same size as a Colourpop singles you know one of those round ones but this one it's 
uh, square and in all the eyeshadows you have the little print you can actually buy all these eyeshadows as singles if you prefer to do so all, the, all of them are I don't know if all of them, I don't think all of them are on stock right now but you know they are coming back and you can always just buy one color if you are interested in that one color but let's do some swatches swatchy let me explain one thing about swatches because I always say that to me at least to me swatches says a lot about the eyeshadow and that's kind of true because um, when I swatch a format that I, I already know I know from the way the swatch, the, the formula swatches the way it will perform but when it comes to new formulas for me when for, like for example this one today I don't actually know how just watching from the sw swatch how the eyeshadow will perform but it give me an idea of how it will uh, perform it doesn't tell me the whole story but it tell me a lot of the story. I don't know if I am doing any sense, I hope I am, but let's do some stretchy stretchy. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say that they tried to put in the spider four of the shades in the in the in their uh, limited edition. What's what's up? The, the you know the game palette, the one that has that change formula that I loved the color sorry but the the, the the shape of the palette give me headaches so I could not take that palette so I am so glad to see that they put some of that colors in this palette here so I will start by uh, swatching this color here then I go in this, in this direction then this direction then this direction okay so let's just switch switch so I gonna start swatching the color flutter here flutter is described to be a sparkly duochrome that shifts light gold and turquoise so this one is a duochrome let's see how it swatches honestly it swatches kind of nice I don't know how they will perform but this swatch kind of nice so okay from from my viewfinder I can see that you see more gold but from my point of view I see uh, green with some turquoise flashes and in, in the mirror in front of me I can see a little bit of the mm, transparent base that has a little bit of, bit of a pinkish undertone in the transparent base I, the next color is the shade Perfusion, which is described to be a UV matte neon yellow. And let's see how it swatches. Ooh. Let me build it up a little bit. Neons are always hard because neons has an extremely uh, white base, so they are harder to work with. So it's kind of it doesn't represent the little formula for me. They just represent the neons the way they always work. And this one is a remake of the color uh, insert coin from the one up palette then we got the color scrub scar, scarab and i am probably bashing all the names but english isn't my first language as you probably can hear from my accent so i may mess a little bit i can i may mess up a little bit with the the names but bear with me okay and the first, the next color is gonna be the shade uh, Scarab, which is gonna be this blue color here. And let's swatch it. This color ooh, is described to be a sparkly triochrome that shifts from uh, peacock, turquoise, and the navy. Yeah, let's see how it swatches. Oh yeah, uh, it has a really nice opaque base and it's a really 
uh, textured as a metallic shade. It's a really sparkly. You can, you can actually see the sparkles. And this color, it's a remake of the color High Score. So far, nice color story. And then the last color of the first row, this one here, is the shade Herbivore, which is a remake of the shade 8 Beat. Let's swatch it and. This one is described to be a matte neon green and let's build it up because you know neons never works properly so yeah it's a nice color and then the next color oh this one this one the owner of Lito says this one is her favorite color in the palette this one is the shade uh, Biome which is described let me swatch it and this color here is described to be a sparkly quad chrome that shifts um, green, blue, bronze and red. It seems to me a really ambitious color description, but let's stretch it. Just one stretchy stretchy and honestly I cannot see the bronze I can see a little bit of the, the blue here and the purple and the red as well I don't I cannot see the bronze maybe with other lights but in this light here I cannot see it then we got the last neon color from this palette which is the shade retreat which is described to be a true neon purple this one is not UV active they say that purples never are so I don't know about it but let's just uh, trust them this one it's a really nice tone of purple too and this color story can you see it it's a really mm, it's a really mm, color story right and then we got the next color the next color which is gonna be this color here is the shade Arboreal which is described to be just a matte ochre shade and ochre it's it's a lovely color but I don't think I have a lot of colors that I will describe as ochre maybe for me ochre is a little bit lighter than this one here but let's swatch it so I have it on my finger Oh boy, I will describe this one to be more of an olive undertone brown, but to me ochre it's way much more lighter, it's more yellow than brown, and this one is more brown than yellow. Nice color by the way, nice uh, neutral, not neutral color. And then the last color of the, the second row is the shade Fauna, which is described to be just a metallic olive green. So let's swatch this metallic olive green so here you have fauna honestly this one has an, a nice sheen into it can you see it has a almost it has this really deep dark base and when it shifts to the light you can see more of that olive olive color shining through but let's start with the last row of this beautiful palette which is gonna be the color that I was dreaming my whole life I always was going crazy over a uh, black knit teal this one is described to be a black knit teal this one is the shade nightless which is uh, which is a remake of the color power up this color here is a remake of the color power up so we have uh, four colors from that game uh, uh, palette in this palette here but let's swatch it and this one for me is the perfect black metal teal can you see it's not green it's not blue it's just right in the middle and it's really dark this one promised so well and I cannot wait to put this color on my eyes this is the true deep dark green teal color not green sorry teal color and I love this kind of colors then we got the next the next color which is I don't know 
mycelium. I don't know how to pronounce this word and read it at the same time. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this color is described to be a metallic trio crown that shifts from mauve to green to gold. And again, really, really, really ambitious description. But let's see it here. Oh wow. Oh, I see green, I see gold, and I see just a tiny bit of the mauve. Oh yeah, the mauve is more of a base, and it's not that mauve. I will say that it's more of a plummy brown. I don't see that much of a mauve. Maybe on the eye, maybe on the eye, I don't know. I don't know. Then we got the last uh, multi-chrome of the palette is the shade the Hy Hydrosphere, this color here. This color here is described to be a sparkly trio chrome that shifts ocean blue, aqua and pink. Oh my goodness, sorry. Oh yeah, this one I can see the ocean blue shade. The aqua, I I am not seeing the pink, not on me. Oh yeah, here, here, when I look from this direction, I can see just a tiny bit of pink. It's not that obviously of a shift, but it's still there, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Just a little bit, but it's there, it's there, it's there. And then the last color of this palette is the shade of Wilderness, which is this deep, dark, forest green shade. And here we go, here you have it, the whole color story. And you know what I am impressed about this color story? This color story isn't that light and honestly I feel that some of those colors looks more bright on my phone when I when I try to uh, buy them. Okay, so I decided to zoom you in a little bit so you can now see my face a little bit closer and let's start with the primer and Lately, I'm using this one here, so I'm gonna use this one here because I find it works like my Urban Decay one, which you know that I love, but let's try this one here and then if I don't like the way it, the shadows perform, I can always try a, a primer that I know a little bit better because this one is kind of new to me. I love the way the palette completely folds back. Oh yeah, and you have a mirror on the other side. I don't know if I told you, but you have a mirror. I'm gonna grab this brush here, which I spot cleaned. It's not clean, so this is why it's stained, but I spot clean it, so it's kind of clean, so you cannot come for me, okay? And I'm gonna start with this brush here, which is a old Zoeva 234. I don't know if they still have it, but this one is my favorite uh, brush to pack on mattes. And I will start with the color Refusion here. It's a little bit powdery, I don't know if you can see, but that's fine. And I'm pressing this color just in my inner corner. Uh, yeah, I definitely has a little bit of fallout. If you have a white base, this color will work so much better with a white base. But I didn't want to help the eyeshadow, but you can always use a white pencil, a milk pencil, you know, one of those from NYX, or a white base if you have it, you know, you can use a lot of things. By the way, it's a little bit powdery as color, this is because of the nature of the mm, neon color, but it's working kind of nice, I have a little bit of out here, let me... Let me try to clean the fallout a little bit. It is kind of mean from me to start with the hardest to formulate color, but this is the color that I wanted to use, so hashtag sorry not sorry. <laughs> now I am kind of happy with this color here. So I'm gonna grab this angled brush here. This one is the E70. E70 by Sigma is this 
fluffy angle brush which I love to do the, the work that I'm gonna do and then gonna grab the black net detail here which is the shade nightless and I'm gonna put this color in the outer part of my eyelid I will just press the color in the uh, in the outer part of my eyelid trying to don't go too much upward and try to keep the, the line a little bit winged out. I am loving how the colors still look, look still and not green on my skin tone. I don't know if you can see, but it hasn't lost its definition, which is chef's kiss. I am noticing a little bit of fallout here. Do your face makeup after your eyes because you're gonna have some fallout with this shadow. And now I'm gonna grab this Sigma E27, which is my favorite blending brush, you know. And we're gonna go to the shade Arbo, whoop, Arbo Real, this color here, which is described to be an ochre shade. And to me, it looks more of an olive brown. That's fine. And we're gonna start to blend this, the crease with this color. I'm noticing that these colors are really true to pan. They have a really nice pigmentation. I'm gonna grab a clean, uh, a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna blend a little bit better here in the edges where it finds those two colors in the lid. And now with a synthetic brush, I wanna lay down some glitter glue because from the swatches I can tell that, not extremely, but they are kind of flaky so they will need a nice base. Now closer to the teal shade, I'm gonna use the shade here, just here in the outer part of my, let's see, from the middle to the outer part of my lid, just pressing the color over the uh, over the primer over the yeah over the glitter glue and it's a nice effect if you ask me really nice and let's put the co this color here the first color of the palette and I'm gonna put that color in my inner in the inner part of my eye just pressing the color honestly I am impressed with the way these colors are uh, working they are working really nice i don't know why people hate on uh, little uh, shimmers they work really nice on my modest opinion of course then i'm gonna come back with the angled brush and a little bit more of the color too and i'm gonna just repress it a little bit here just because i feel that i lost i lost it I'm re-grabbing a little bit more of the neon yellow color and I am just, uh, you know, pressing it a little bit more here just to make it more visible and to make it blend a little bit better with the color in the lid. And now with an extremely fluffy brush, I'm gonna clean the brush here on the palm of my hand, the way you know there is nothing left, and then we just blend the brown a little bit more. I love uh, blend the brown into the crease because I feel that it kind of toned down the look a little bit, you know. It make it more easy to wear if you're not used, if you're not really used to use colors. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a flat top brush and I'm gonna. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna. I wanna kind of try to blend these two colors here together. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of the color, the color Nightless and I'm gonna put this color in the outer part of my lower lash line trying to keep it really close to my waterline not on my waterline but really close to there The brown that I used on my crease is so nice it's, it looks, sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks green really nice, wow, really nice color really impressed with that one now I'm gonna grab another really small brush and I'm gonna go with the purple shade here, the shade Retreat and I'm putting this color just here really close to my inner corner just to give me a something something you know. I love 
teals and purples together. To me, I don't know, they have something that they just go together for some reason. I'm gonna grab this uh, extremely pointy crease shade. This one is the Sigma E42. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shade Arbo Real, this color here. And I'm gonna blend the edges of these two colors here close to my lower lash line just to tie the look together. Not too much because I don't want it to look like I, ha I am tired, even though I am. No one needs, needs to know it, right? Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of my, uh, the, a little bit more of the, glit the NYX Glitter Glue. I'm placing this color just here, really close to my uh, lower lash line, just a little bit here. Going a little bit over the purple, just not too much, just a little bit. I will grab the, the shade Scrub here. I was not expecting this pigmentation. I will add a little bit more of the color flat, Flatter just here in my inner corner. And then I will just add it a little bit here underneath my brow bone. Just the purse that was left on my brush. So it's just the tiniest amount ever. Then I will come back with my clean bl blending brush and I will just blend the brown a little bit more. Right now, this is the look. Let me put some lashes and maybe liner then I'm gonna come back to, sh to tell you my first impression in this part here, so stay there. Ta-da! The final look. Okay, maybe got a little bit lazy and even though I put the gems in the wrong place I still wanted to keep them the way they are yes I do <laughs> but this is the final result and can I tell you I'm really feeling myself in this look I love the mixtures of colors and I love how the shimmers blend together how the, the mattes blend together I am so 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 I am glad with this look. I am feeling, I'm feeling really fun and happy, and I don't know if I'm feeling really Christmassy, but I'm feeling good. And okay, on my waterline, on my waterline, I'm wearing this uh, gel liner, and as lashes, I'm wearing these lashes here. I decided to give them a try. This one are the Happy Heartbeat Foaming lashes from Amazon are them the best quality lashes I have ever tried no but they are looking good and they are not in the end they don't have that you know that shiny shiny that chips lashes always have they don't have that shiny shiny if you know what I mean and yeah the gems are from Amazon too but now go a little bit Far away so we can talk about the palette what was about my uh, first impression with uh, lethal cosmetics I am satisfied with my purchase I have to be honest with you the ones that I did describe to be multi crumbs I don't see all the multi crumbs I see I see multi sparkles not multi chrome if you know what I mean I see that there are a lot of different colors and textures are on the sparkles but I don't see multi crumbs I see multi sparkles but you know that could be the light because I still have to go outside in the sunlight and the mats were easy to blend pigmented I don't know if they're gonna be easy to build we're gonna see in the next video together if they if they are easy to build but because I didn't build a lot in this look here it was a more three mats blended with two shimmers in the upper part and then in the lower part are two mats and one shimmer so not shimmer but it's a special shade and honestly I'm loving this this pop of blue here I feel that it makes all the difference in the look mm. By the way, I had a lot of fun playing with this palette and just from my first impression, I have to tell you, I wanna buy more from Litho because I don't know if you know, but Magnetic Palette are my language of love. So if you are a brand, you wanna 
come closer to my heart does bring out magnetic palette and I will be so glad because I love play with colors so magnetic palette always give you it's like the best part of both worlds you have your singles and then you have a, a, an already curated story color story for you so it's the best of the both worlds the downside I don't like the way the names of the colors are not in the back are not in the side and are not in the pan either the only reference for the name that I have not being the website of course is the sleeve which I will have to keep to know the name of the shadows and it's, it's not a big deal but I like to know the name of the shadows even though because if I hit pan which I will probably never but if I finish completely one this color here I will completely finish it and then I don't know I want to buy another one but I do not remember the name of course it's easy to you know read in the description to know what, which color you bought which color you loved but just from the palette I cannot style it which is a shame this is the only thing that they could you know they could do a little bit better just in the side but by the way I am glad with my final look and okay but this is the finish of this video and if you like this kind of content please don't forget to subscribe and leave me your likes if you did like the video if you didn't if you didn't like this video no problem it's not a okay it will hurt my feelings but you can put your you can put me thumbs down if you don't like it it will hurt but I can I, I can do it I can deal with it I will deal with it I will deal with it no problem no problem put me your thumbs down if you didn't like the video okay but by the way leave me your comment down below let me know which color was your favorite color which if you want to see three looks with this palette here which I will probably do because this palette is not a limited edition so I can put three looks for you I don't feel bad for showing you something that you cannot buy I'm talking about the oldest eye palette which I didn't have three looks because I am like okay we'll do three looks and then no one has it's no possible to put your hands in that palette anyway <laughs> so I kind of don't want to but I still wanted to do three looks but if you want to see she looks with that palette please let me know down below and I will be so glad to do it for you even though because I have two colors to test in the palettes if you saw the videos you know which colors I'm talking about and if you are not interested to see that just know that I will try I will I will probably give you more looks within at least this part here because this color star here lovely 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 I cannot wait to play with it with this one more and in the next video I will come in the next uh, video you're gonna see uh, the metamorphosis palette so stay tuned for that but right now I leave with a big gold kiss and see you soon bye bye